hello students i am yugesh from devsma senior secondary school today we are discuss our topic acid and bases for the lower middle classes so as we know acid and bases are and salts are basic terms of our science and we know that lemon juice and soapy water here are two examples on our on our screen lemon juice and soap water if we talking about lemon juice as we know that it is sour in taste and if we have soap water we know it is bitter so these two solutions have different taste why so what indicates about the taste of these things if we if we are with lemon juice then we know that is it is sour in taste which indicates that it is a acid and if we are talking about soap water it is bitter in taste that is indicate it is a it is a base so if we are talking about the lemon juice it is sour in taste when we place it on an, any of the to, uh, table so it's uh, like fungus smell or it's a burning effect it that is important to effects whatever they error the surface or burn the skin acids are error the skin we know that acid attacks and etc so lemon juice is the acidic which simply means sour so if we are talking about the solutions which are sour in taste and have acidic effect they are called acids intensity of the sourness varies in different different acids beta if we are talking about the acidity so it is varies differently for the different solutions like lemon orange and different grapes they all are sour in taste and their acidity level is very different to each other if we are talking about soap water then we are know it is a base and it is a part of alkali solution so why base is a uh, why soapy water is a base so mild bitter compounds are known as base mild bitter compounds are known as base feel soapy when touch when we touch the base solutions they are feel soapy as we rub soap on our body so it is slippery so same as it slippery for example baking soda washing soda and lime theek hai these are the uh, basic quantities acid and base you will let that make in a base and corn so acid and base when combined together so it, we get what so we get neutral compounds acid and base whenever react with each other they provide us neutral compounds well it is something which is mixed strong acid of hydrochloric hydrochloric acid it is a strong acid hcl when it is combined with sodium hydroxide noh what will be the product kya milega hame so we will get sodium chloride which is an a salt nacl sodium chloride and plus water these are the two whenever we mix acid and a base we get salt and water as a by product it it is the shorty that is a neutralization reaction when we react both acid and base together then we always get a salt and water which is the main fundamental logic of a neutralization reaction concentrated sulfuric acid next reaction we have concentrated sulfuric acid h2so4 let take a little bit drops when we put in our hands it will cause burn so it is a dilute concentrated concentration means very thick in quantity which can cause severe burns when we put in directly in contact with our hands or face substances used to check whether the compound is acidic and basic how can we check whether the substances is acidic or basic the products which are used to identify the acidity or basicity of a compound is known as indicators substances used to check whether the compound is acidic or basic is known as indicators so by what kind of substances are used to indicators now the question arises what are the indicators and how we can get better